Reporting to you live from the Horseshoe Falls in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. It's live from last week, episode 80. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today I'm going to our local Dollarama to buy a couple of gifts and decorations for my Lola. Mainly because I'm about to visit her at the cemetery and greet her a quick happy birthday. And speaking of birthdays, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, guys, it's time to go to Dollarama and buy some decorations for Lola and greet her a happy birthday at her site at the cemetery. So with the motorcycle, we pull up to Lola's place at the cemetery and offer her up this nice, beautiful, happy birthday balloon that I got her. And while we were at it, I decided to take out a little cupcake and try to light it up with my personal lighter. I was able to also get some streamers from the dollar store and slowly but surely help decorate her site for her birthday. And I don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week's episode, but today I busted out the bubble gun for Lola and after several failed tries and attempts, was finally able to provide a bubble gun salute just for Lola's birthday. All right, Lola, I hope that you enjoyed your birthday celebration this year and my visit this month. As we continue to pray for you on your birthday, keep guiding us and watching over us, Lola, and know that every day we miss you and we love you. Happy birthday, Lola. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up for the day because tonight I'm going for my first of my four night shifts and we'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So last night I was taking a quick little late night dinner break in our break room at work when I noticed something about our door leading to the break room. And I was actually thinking that this little door would be waking up patients down the hall and disturbing staff whenever they would take their breaks. And so I decided to hit up the supply room to see what I could do about this issue and came out with these supplies. And so I broke out these packets of lubricating jelly and got to working on these very annoying and noisy door hinges. Making sure that I got into each and every little crevice and even staining my gloves with the old lubricant that was on the hinges before. And after working the stuff in and testing the door a couple of times, this was the final result. Nothing. Nothing anymore. And even though doing this was outside my scope of practice, I'm pretty sure that all the nearby patients and staff will really appreciate this gesture. And speaking of work, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my old Wysik friends back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maya. Happy birthday, Maya. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Well, actually, before I do go in for work tonight, for some reason, since last night, I had a big craving for some pizza. So this afternoon, I went online to the Little Caesars website and decided to try to order this deep dish Chicago style pizza here at Little Caesars. So let's see if this pizza portal is up and running still and let's go pick up our pizza. Let's go try this Chicago style pizza. All right, let's see how this Chicago style deep dish pizza compares to the ones that I've had when I've actually visited Chicago. Ooh, it actually looks pretty good. Let's see how it looks inside. 
That's what matters. Oh, interesting. It's not like deep, deep dish, like the ones in Chicago, but it's probably about one centimeter thick. Comparing it to the ones from Chicago where you actually need a knife and a fork to eat it because the pizza is just so stuffed and deep. This one, you can actually hold it with just one hand. And now, time for the taste test. Cheers, guys. pretty decent not bad not bad and actually for about 15 bucks plus tax it's not a bad deal just to try it out so yeah now i'm gonna try to enjoy my pizza and i'll see you guys again tomorrow after work so as i was making my way home from work this morning my motorcycle my baby rouge was complaining that she was feeling a little bit hungry so we stopped by the nearest gas station to fill her up Worrying that because of the gas prices, I might set yet another record high for her. And based on my previous history of filling up gas tanks in the past, it was just my luck today. Because today, I overshot my budget by just one cent. But anyhow, right now, it's time to go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight. And with it being June 30th, the end of June, I'll just have to say, I'll catch you guys again next month in July. Believe it or not guys, but since the turn of the month, we're already halfway through 2022. And I wanted to greet you guys, welcome to July. With it being July 1st and me wearing all red, I'm also wishing all you Canadians out there a happy Canada Day. And speaking of celebrations, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With my first birthday shout out, going out to one of my PT friends at work. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bradley. Happy birthday, Nick. Next up, a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers on the south side. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kira. Happy birthday, Kira. We too have a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends with whom I had Mr. Milano's class with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Fourth on the docket, we have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood slash baseball friends back in the day, especially at Good Shepherd. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Paulette. Happy birthday, Matt. And to wrap it up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my groomsmen from my wedding, who's also my cousin. This birthday shout out goes out to the Dominator. Happy birthday, dudes. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, today, after having a not-so-great sleep post-night shift, I turned on the TV to watch my beloved Blue Jays play their Canada Day special against the Tampa Bay Rays. And I'm pretty excited because they're in the middle of a five-game series, playing all five games in a span of 72 hours. With tomorrow being a day where I bought tickets to the Blue Jays game so that I could catch up at the Rogers Center with one of my longtime childhood friends. But before I even think about tomorrow, tonight I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts. Only meaning that I'm going to break out this song for the first time in what seems a long time. With it being my last night in my four night shift stretch, in terms of work, I've only got one more night. So yeah, it's time to wrap it up for today and I'll reunite with you guys again tomorrow. After a crazy busy night shift for my colleagues on the floor, having two separate codes go to ICU during the shift, I found it very true about the rumor that the first couple of days of July are susceptible shifts to have codes and very busy night shifts. But anyways, for some reason, when I got home, my feet felt like they were tingling and were incredibly sore as if I just finished a marathon race that I had in the past. And along with a couple of my colleagues, even though they commented and really liked the style of my brand new shoes, we have come to the conclusion that my new kicks that I bought just last week, just may be the real reason why I have been feeling so much pain in my feet over the past four night shifts. Which means that after only one week of wearing them at work, it's time to go shopping for some new shoes once again. But for the meantime, this morning, to try to feel at least a little bit more comfort, I busted out my Dr. Hose machine for the first time in a long time and found these plastic foot attachments to use for my sore feet. But while we were filming this morning, 
As we were making breakfast, the fire alarm started going off. And once we were able to get the smoke under control, I was able to show you guys my sore feet, my slippers, as well as the new Dr. Hose machine working its magic. Uh, uh. But this afternoon, after trying to take a post-night shift nap and sleeping less than two hours, I was unfortunately woken up by the pain in my feet, which returned. And afterwards, I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I spent the next half an hour staying awake and while watching the Blue Jays game this afternoon, I once again used my Dr. Hose machine to see if this would alleviate the pain that I was been feeling all day today. And another thing that I tried to do to help alleviate my pain was do some retail therapy. So recalling a couple months ago when I bought that Blue Jays leadoff ticket pack, well, today, the Blue Jays came out with this thing called the Summer Nights Ticket Package, which is similar to that leadoff ticket pack. So I went out and bought a pair of these passes, giving me a pair of tickets to see any weekday Blue Jays home game in July and August. So guys, feel free to make a comment in the comment section below if you want to catch a Blue Jays game with me sometime this summer, and we'll coordinate something sometime in the near future. Which actually reminds me that today, we're catching the evening session, the second game in a doubleheader for the Blue Jays versus the Rays. Where we're going to reunite with one of my closest childhood friends. So, let's make our way to the Dome and catch the Blue Jays this evening. Woo! Shaughnessy, welcome to the Jays game! Boo, 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 boo. Cheers, buddy. Are you taking that picture? You're... No, or it's a uh, video. Oh, I see, I got you. We're gonna put this up on your uh... On my vlog? Yeah. You know it! Alright. Man, although the Blue Jays couldn't win a game in their doubleheader today, I just want to throw a quick shout out to my boy Shaughnessy, one of my childhood best friends when I was younger, who joined me in watching the Blue Jays game earlier this evening. But yeah, before I wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my high school friends. Somebody who I actually ran into just last week of whom I remember having the deadliest shot in basketball, being able to hit a game-winning field goal from anywhere on the court. This birthday shout-out goes out to you, scored off. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So, this afternoon, after dropping off the wife at a local venue for a wedding coordinating event, I am here at the Malton Go Station, to see if I can fully make use of that $15 weekend Go Transit Pass that I bought yesterday. And we'll see where this weekend pass will take us today. after a great Go Transit day trip to get all the way here to Niagara Falls, visiting here for the first time in 18 months, back on the date that was supposed to be my original wedding date in the month of November 2020, it's time to go back to Toronto and meet up with the wife after her wedding event. But before I get on the Go Train to go back downtown, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. The first shout out going to one of my titas out there. And this birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Edna. Happy birthday, Tita Edna. And next, a birthday greeting to one of my skateboarding friends, who I last saw in last week's Pride Parade in Toronto, with this birthday shout out going out to you, Mac. Happy birthday, Mac. 
I'm hoping that all my friends and family out there that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. First of all, being July 4th, I just wanted to wish my American friends and family a happy July 4th Independence Day. Especially to my parents visiting my Munning Meribi and my Munning Ed in Connecticut. And just by looking at some of these pictures to the left of me, you can tell that my parents and my family are really celebrating this occasion. And speaking in terms of celebrations, we also got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first birthday shout out going to one of my classmates back in university. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. The next birthday greeting goes out to one of my beach slash indoor volleyball friends who I've had the pleasure of playing alongside them back in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Marie. Happy birthday, Marie. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who I remember hanging out with her outside of work with my other colleagues playing that funny drawful game at her place. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. I'm hoping that all you guys that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But continuing on with yesterday's adventure on the GO train, where we were actually delayed for over 45 minutes during my commute, causing me to miss my connecting bus at Union, making me late for over an hour from picking up the wife from her wedding coordinating event, the GO train workers actually made an announcement overhead, saying that since the train was delayed by at least 15 minutes, Go Transit has their Go Train service guarantee in effect, where passengers could potentially be compensated for their whole trip. But unfortunately, since I bought a weekend day pass for unlimited travel, I was out of luck and unable to be compensated for any part of my trip last night. Either way, once I was able to finally arrive to the venue for the wedding of one of my wife's closest family friends, I was able to party it up a little bit with the soon-to-be sister-in-law the brother-in-law, and the wife, all out on the dance floor. I was also able to greet the groom, congratulations on the wedding, as well as welcome him to the club of being a married couple. So once again, Jay, I'm wishing you congratulations on your wedding, and I'm wishing you and your bride a long and everlasting marriage. After leaving the venue, the wife and I went back to Scarborough to get some late night eats at one of our favorite 24 hour spots at Perfect. And enjoyed this delicious dim sum meal before we called it a night. On to earlier today when I did an early morning grocery run to the local Fresh Co. to do some quick shopping and find some amazing deals. Which included seeing these packs on for sale for extra lean ground chicken for only a dollar. And after having my haul of groceries, I headed home to use the new stove and cooked up some delicious ground chicken stir fry for the wife and I to have for breakfast. But now it's time to rest, relax, and get off my sore feet for the time being before I go in for my one random night shift tonight. So guys, I think that will signify it's time to wrap up this week's episode. If y'all have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.